Hello, one and all. This is Luckless Love Locks. Welcome to Not For Broadcast, a game where we get to take control of the nightly news. I'm live on twitch.tv slash luckless love locks. Uh, thanks to Tiny Build and Not Games for the copy. This is going to be wild. Slowly, poorly says, hi, YouTube. I hate your guts. Once again, slowly hates you all. New game. Here we go. This is his name, uh, if you, uh, want to send him hate, <laughs> slowly, poorly. He actually said, uh, he loves you, just like me. Okay, so we've got story mode. Experience the story without the stress. No, we want the stress. Intern, less challenging. No. Broadcaster, a balanced experience, non-broadcast mechanics, and viewer ratings provide a reasonable challenge. Broadcaster? A real challenge. Non-broadcast mechanics are more frequent and more difficult. Viewers stop watching quicker. See you, Lydra. Enjoy your games. Let's go, Broadcaster. I might have to move the camera because I don't know. I don't know where the best spot is. Thank you to Loop Loop for the 39 months. Day one, the election. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm blocking too much here. Oh. Oh. Hi, David. I have a call for you. I'm just putting it through. All right, mate. Dave here. Listen, uh, I know you've only come in to clean up the place, but I've got a bit caught up, so uh, you're going to have to run the news tonight. Now, don't worry. It's not hard, and I'm going to stay on the phone and help you. First, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the broadcast room, so if you're not doing it already, look forwards towards all those screens. Right, look up at the top. That coloured bar is your audience. You want to keep the viewers going up and not down. Underneath okay. Underneath that, you've got the screens. The one on the right is the broadcast screen. Spicy calendar. That's what the viewers are seeing at home. Right here. It's only a couple of seconds behind the master screen there in the middle. That's the one you control. Now, the four small screens on the left oh show different signals coming from the studio. And you can choose between them using the numbered buttons on the vision mixer. Oh, the I don't just press the screen? Don't worry. I'll talk you through it and you'll pick it up in no time. Now, have a look to your left. These plugs control everything in the studio. Oh, I've God. Them set up for you, so provided you haven't fiddled with them, all you have to do now is throw the master trip switch and we're in business. Once you've got the power on, face the front again. You can see on the broadcast. Okay, we're in business. The end titles for the show before us. Fortunately, they go on for fucking ages, so there's plenty of time for me to explain. Yeah, you can use the. Right, okay, they're over. So you can use the keyboard. The broadcast. Right, quickly, mate, look down under the desk. You can see a load of videotapes on the left. They're your adverts. Pick any three and load them into the machines on the right. When you've done that, look up to the front again. Come to Boomly. Right, the tapes are loaded and we're all ready for when we get to the first ad break. That's this, is, this is what my stream uh, desk looks like, yeah. Signal through from the studio. Stay on your toes, mate. It's election night, so all eyes are on this room. We do not want to get fired. Maybe I should have the camera, like, when turned around? Signal, select screen one with the vision mixer and we're ready to go. Corner mayonnaise. You know, CV makes me grilling pasta. Yeah, I thought it might increase our viewing figures. Every day, you offer me prawns every day. Ten seconds, everybody. How uh, how's the volume so far? Five, four. But now, it's time to join Jeremy Donaldson. Good evening. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Our main story is tonight. Okay, we're all good. Next is going to be to throw the news titles on screen too. There'll be a countdown, but I'll count you in as well. Just relax, mate. It's all gravy. Oh, everyone's watching. Could be a bit louder. Okay. 60. Thank you, Joseph, for the five years. Top chat. Sports fans everywhere celebrate as popular footballer Johnny Ham's news wins sports personality of the year. And a spoonful of sugar. Megan fighting with movie star Ronald Bunderfuss about his new movie, We're Medicated. And, of course, we'll be going live to advance headquarters to hear what the leaders of this fledgling party have to say on their... The last two years, guys. Button two, in three, two, one, now. Lovely, mate. Next thing is to throw back to Jeremy with button one when that globe in the middle shrinks down and vanishes. 
We're doing it! Here it comes. Switch to screen one. Now. Lovely, mate. The votes are in, and it's a decisive win for advance. We often get a bit of interference around this time, mate. Keep your eye on the machine at the bottom right. Use that slider that's flashing, or your scroll wheel, to move the wave up and down, keeping the green bit in the white bit. But critics have accused him of a severe lack okay. of actual okay. and of being deliberately vain. The opposition parties have all conceded to feel that okay. it's an overwhelming mandate, but have yet to... Yeah, I count five years, too. However... Former Home Secretary. Right, it's going well. All you've got to do now is play the advert at the end of the segment. Make sure you don't play it too early oh, or you'll get fired. Now the clock at the top is counting you down to the advert. When it reaches zero, press <laughs> one of the gonna be three insane, isn't it? buttons over there at the bottom right. I okay, right here. I can play the first one and a first break and so on, but you can play them in any order you want. I'll count you into it as well, but keep your eye on the clock. And three, two... One advert. One minute back, everybody. I need you to fill up the What's why? Thank you, Snatch, for running late. Oh, Personally, I wouldn't try to confuse you with any good words. Can't spell any day and people still talk to me, so you're a good finder. This is great. I can, Now I can chat with chat because we're in an ad. Segment grade E. Wicked. We made it to the first Why don't I get an E? E for everyone, I guess. This sequence is what we call a multicam sequence because you're going to be cutting between multiple cameras to keep things interesting. A lot of it's down to personal taste, but here's three good rules of thumb. One, try and keep the shot on whoever is doing the talking. Two, don't stay on the same shot. Is it E for effort? Ten seconds at the most. Yeah, very hectic fast, I bet. who's talking, try and throw in the odd reaction shot or pull out to the wide shot for a bit just to keep it interesting. Three, don't stay on reaction shots for too long. A couple of seconds is usually enough. Then the audience want to see who's doing the talking, yeah? This guy's pissed Stick off. Stick these rules and you'll be fine. It's not as complicated as it sounds. You've seen programs on television, haven't you? Make it look like those. Might as well get screen one selected now. No need to wait for the broadcast to start. Try and stay ahead, mate. Okay, so once... So then once the ad ends, it's going to switch to this, right? Thank Cut you to so butts. Much. Okay, I'll try to get the butts. Ten seconds, everybody. Okay, so these two are gonna. Inter Four, she's gonna interview him. Three. Welcome back to the National Nightly News. Welcome back. To Later, we'll be hearing from shock election winners Later, advance. But first off, we're going to make an on-screen is here with a star of both stage and screen. Megan? Thank you, Jeremy. Megan Wolf, culture Thank correspondent. You, and today I have a guest who starred in everything from Shakespeare right, to the Right, go to Blunderclatch on screen three when she says his name. Oh. By none other than Lawrence <laughs> Blunderclatch. Thank you so what? much. What? <laughs> I do hope you believe me when I tell you that being with you here today is a moment... Switch to two for the wide now. <laughs> May I say having you here with us is among ours. <laughs> right, now just try and stay on whoever's talking. ...latest movie, which is called The Medicated. The Medicated, yes. <laughs> wow, medicated. what was that like? Yes. Well, as I said to Peter well, the Rat, that's Peter Jensen, the director. Give us a look at Megan's reaction. Lovely. Now back to Thunder Twat. Thunder Twat? <laughs> is that what they called him? I said to Peter, what a wild ride this has been. What a wild and you know what, ride this has been. I really meant that. Wow, that is fantastic. And am I right in saying... I've always wanted to do this, actually. It's quite an academic one. Absolutely right. A scientist. Yeah! Is that a challenge a at all? What exactly are you implying? But seriously, yes, you're right. But it was a complete yes, departure right. from my last starring role when I played Sergeant role. Brock Rockman in Bullet Man. You'll remember that that was the true story of one Been on that short bit long. that surpasses all others. A love, of course, for freedom. A love, of course. I think it's grossed over a billion dollars, but uh, obviously, who's counting? <laughs> it's a role that saw you scoop two Best Actor awards. What if I just, like, I correctly. <laughs> so sweet of you to make Do sure. this. But I really am not in it for the awards. <laughs> 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 the 
this time, sure. Get back to who's talking. I'm not doing it for the awards. Mm. What is it that drives you? That's a beautiful question, Megan. Not easy to answer. Like you, like you, I'm afraid. Cut me, and I will bleed. And often, that's how it feels, doesn't it? That's how it doesn't it. Bleeding, doesn't it? Giving. Her reaction is awesome. She's like, I suppose in the end, I do it for the difference. I suppose in the end, I do it for the people that I inspire. I do it for the people, the little people. But most of all, I think I do it for the positive change that I can bring about in the world. And today, of course, uh, we're in for some real change. We're bringing it back like up. In the coming few months. What do you make of this historic election result? Oh, well. <laughs> well, now you're asking. Historic election result. Indeed. Historic is the word. Well, it's difficult, isn't it? Very difficult. I think I've always been quite clear that when it comes to politics. There's not much for me to say while I'm playing. Like this. Strive to strive. Not fuck things up. Shit, he swore. Oh, oh well, don't worry, he won't do it again. Sorry, I said fuck. Shit, he did it again. Okay, don't panic. I'll explain how to deal with swearing at the break. Next <laughs> week. Right, they've swapped the shot of Jeremy on screen one for a VT of the movie clip. You'll get a countdown on the screen, but I'll just let Megan cue you in. My character, Dr. Lance Hemlock, is faced with a decision that could affect humanity. Sorry, I said fuck. <laughs> Exciting stuff. Let's take a look. Exciting stuff. Perfect transition. Blunder Clash is losing it in the studio, but we ain't got time for that. There's more interference coming. It's a bit trickier this time, mate. Use that little flashing joystick to the left of the knob, or hold down your middle mouse or Alt on your keyboard, and as the frequency changes, match it to the white bit by dragging right. You think I don't know that? Now we're going to squash the frequency back by dragging left. No, it mustn't. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Oh my god, this is going to get so crazy! Next, we're going to change the amplitude. Same as last time. Little joystick or hold alt or middle mouse. Here we go. Up, right? Push upwards. Okay. told me, but I didn't listen. I'm drowning, Lance, you said. You need to see this. Okay, okay. Let's match it back by going downwards. They change the frequency thing a lot. Yeah, this game is, uh, came, it's been out in early access for a while now, eh? The sterility. This vulgar. The sterility. This is the game. Yes. Bloody perfect, mate. Oh. Got it. To count you in. Okay, okay, okay. We're looking up here. What are they doing? <laughs> right, I guess I better explain how to deal with bleeping out swear words. As you've probably noticed, the broadcast screen here is about two seconds behind the master screen. D? I only got a D? A naughty word, the bleep button lights up like this. Two seconds later, you'll hear that swear word going out on the broadcast, and you need to hold down the bleep button or the space bar on your keyboard. Space bar. As the swear word okay. Lasts. It can take a bit of practice getting used to it. Steve, we're delightful. Just stay calm. Thank you, Steve. It. And if you can't tell when to bleep, just the slime the in the jar. <laughs> literally be able to see the sound scrolling by. All you gotta do is hold it down while the red bit oh, is over the red line. Simple. Of okay. Course, if you do it by eye, you'll have to take your eye off the screens. That's why real professionals do it by ear. Most people like to have the volume of the broadcast screen. D for day, great the job. The master screen. Thank you. Let's set it now. These potentially true statistics are all Wait, what do I do? What am I doing? Mate, if you don't turn up the broadcast volume, you won't be able to time your bleeps. Good. You're set to start censoring. Like I say, it takes a little practice, but I'll try and help you through it, and soon we'll have you bleeping like a pro. Remember, button lights up, count one, 
two and hold it down. Remember to select screen one now that you've got the feed. Don't wait for the broadcast to go live. That's too late. You can use the number buttons on your keyboard. One to five. Oh my god, this is going to be so stressful. I'm already stressed. Welcome back. And I'm told we can now go Welcome live back. to Advanced Headquarters. And I'm told we can now go live to Advanced Headquarters. Peter Clement and Julia Salisbury. That's too much. Are about to make their acceptance address. Cut to the outside broadcast. Go oh, for it, Pat. Shall I start? Get ready okay. to leave. Go for it, Pat. Thank you all okay. for coming. And, well, thank you all Where for coming. Where do I start? And Is he drunk? What a Where do day. I start? They said we couldn't do it. They certainly said we couldn't do it. They used every dirty, low-down, lying, southern bastard trick they had against us. But you, the people, you saw right through their shots. I'm sorry about the language there. I'm sorry about that. I'm not a cop that celebrates. Sorry about that. I'm not a cop that Coarser than the grown is funny. Coarser than the grown is... put. Uh, but to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? But to be honest, who can blame Peter for celebrating? have some pauses? I don't know. This is too much. It's too much already. When the country is suffering, you don't need a party. You need a team. I don't need these two to be at the same... ...that can change things. The same, like, today volume. Day one of a new future. Day one a better, a fairer future. So perhaps we should all be celebrating. Except for the rich. For them, the party's over. They shouldn't be celebrating. They should be putting their shit in pants on and opening their dusty checkbook. Again, colourfully put, but not inaccurate. Before we came out here to address the nation, we used our it. powers to pass the Assets and Wealth Act. Working with the tax office, we have produced a definitive list of every person in the country with wealth into the millions. You know this sort of probably you, you rather you don't. Because the likes of you and me are not welcome in their gated community. Tomorrow, we will be introduced... So it kind of shows you, like, when it's green, that's what people want to watch, right? So you guys switch between this and this every like 10 seconds unavoidable set of tax laws so all you bastard public school snobs have got nowhere to hide i've got and earlier today we revoked your passport you want them back you want to leave like you threatened before yeah 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 i'm on the 10 second rule the first fine you're gonna pay us you're gonna pay back Advance are going to turn this country from a nation of warring individuals into a team. This is your former job. Fund health and education. To raise the living standards. How do you pronounce? Wait, how do you pronounce your name? The speaker? What? Oh. Guaridad Losato. So to you, posh twats. The people who pay you a pittance to serve you drinks in their what? I missed. I missed twat because I was reading chat. They've got time to get even. Advance have this to say to you. Guarida del Sapo, the Toad's hideout. Oh, cool. It ends today. We will put the wealth of this country back where it should have always been. In the hands of the people who created. In the hands of the people who created. <laughs> yes. No one noticed. No one noticed. And tomorrow we'll start making it fair again. We'll start just like we promised we would. And until then, ladies and gents. And until then, I suggest we all get pissed. I can't argue with that. What? Piss is the censor. Piss is the censor. You can say piss. Interesting acceptance speech there from the leader. Interesting acceptance speech. And our apologies for the fruity language. And our apologies for the fruity language. Hopefully we've got that bleeped out for you in time. Commercials coming up. Someone's going to be in trouble. If not, someone's going to be in trouble. So as the country braces itself for new government, that's all from us this evening at the National Nightly News. We'll be back tomorrow with full coverage of the first day under advance. I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful I'm Jeremy Donaldson. Have a peaceful night. And we're out. Good job, everybody. Send me tomorrow. Out. Good Call job, everybody. Send me tomorrow. Call what am I supposed to do? Oh, commercial. Oh, looks like you've got it now. Go. Ferry's about to leave. Probably won't be coming back. Job's yours, mate. Good luck. <laughs> Job's yours. Great. We got it. <laughs> well, we're not sure. I got an E for exciting. Twice daily. Visit the picture Challenge room unlocked. Okay, we're good.
Not bad. Not bad. E. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's pretty much my stream grade anyways. You can have some pretty generous broadcasting rules with regard to language and general content, to be honest. Oh, okay. All right. I've received a significant reduction to pay. Current wealth broke ass poor. To crippling debt. I can get shares? Okay. What does this mean? World. Heartbroken and minus. Oh, I can actually watch the broadcast. Over on the left, that's all the broadcasts that you've done. Click on any one of them and hit load tape. Once it's finished loading, you can use the rewind we'll and fast forward to at the bottom there to help you news. get to the bit you want to see. But before that, let's take a look at what's coming up later on Twitch. Twitch on channel one. At seven o'clock, it's the same final of the quotation game, and it's a mail biting quiz tonight. At that's as fast as you can go. Okay. Sixteen. Sixteen is as fast as you can go. We don't need What's to watch that? this. We, we all saw. We saw. All saw how great it was. Right. Click on rushes and let's have a look at those. Right. This is the rushes room. It's pretty simple. The four screens you can see. They're going to show you the four signals you got from the studio during the actual broadcast. Difference is you can mute any combination of them, so you can have a listen to the stuff you weren't allowed to show. Ah. So So if you want to like see what's going on with the cast. You can you can do it here. Who's calling? I don't know. I don't know, Bonnie. These aren't my cards. Please tell me these aren't my cards. No, they're the right ones, apparently. Oh, but this gives me nothing, Jenny. They must see that. I know. I think they think you won't have anything to say. Oh, for God's sake, come on. It's a huge day. <laughs> it's not an... I want you to present this program while talking like Rick Grimes. I don't care, Rob. I'm not doing it. I agree to do one beastly... How long ago I could? Technically, we started. Check my contract. Hi, I'm Megan. Oh, piss off. This guy sounds like he should be You're selling fruit and veg at, at the market, not in charge of a TV station. Whole wheat, man. Whole wheat. We're coming back from the break. Quiet in the studio. Thank you so much. Ten seconds, everybody. <laughs> okay. Go. We can see the adverts if we want to, I guess. By the way, this game is is like 60 gigs because of all the FMV. The classic age of salad with this exquisite limited edition collection. All right. Turn off the subtitles at any time from the pause menu. Oh, we're good. We're good. Carl equals Carl. Oh, okay. Wait, day three? What happened to day two? Drive home to find posts on the mat. Most being nothing more than just the usual junk mail. One letter, however, catches your eye. The team wants to know you. Curiosity gets the better of you, and you open it. Day two is overrated. Did we start on day one? Maybe we took day two off. It's a form from the new advanced government asking for information on all citizens. The first page is filled in already. Your name, Alex Winston. Your spouse, Sam Winston. Your children, Charles Winston, 14, and Susie Winston, 19. Okay. Well, you muse, at least they got the basics right. Be friendly and introduce yourself to your new coworkers. Be productive and get to work immediately. Eat yourself in and orientate yourself with your new workplace. Reminisce with friends about old jobs. Let's introduce ourselves. Question two, a colleague in a different department has confided in you that they've been taking home confidential information. Now a file of minor importance has gone missing. You would 
Help your colleague cover up their violation. Recommend that your colleague reports it. Promise your colleague that you won't tell anyone. Report the violation to your supervisor immediately. What do we do, everybody? Set the office on fire to cover it up. That's not an option, Ren. You guys have to make all the choices so that I don't have to. So that when they get wrong, I can blame you. Report? Buttercup says report. Wow. Buttercup is, uh, follows all the rules. Better to tell them instead of going behind their back. No, polls take too long. Help your colleague cover up their violation. Question three, an entire department was fired today for consistent underperformance. Your boss has put in place new targets that are significantly higher than the previous ones. You would leave work on time, stay late to ensure you hit the first deadline, leave work early and head to the pub to chat about the changes with colleagues, leave work early and head home to see your family. Probably hit the pub. Question four, it's the annual company barbecue and you and your family have been invited. You are looking forward to enjoying a nice day out with friends and family. Are washing your hair that day. <laughs> Go if you're free, but wouldn't mind missing it. Uh, have been practicing with your coworkers and think you'll win the talent contest here. I'm washing my hair. Day three, unexpected form. Question five, you've had a long successful career and are now about to retire. In your speech, you List your achievements and all the good memories you have working there. Give an honest review of the pros and cons of the company. Focus on issues and challenges you face while working there. I'm going to give an honest review of the pros and cons of the company. Day three, an unexpected form. Question six, in your spare time, why am I reading the top again? <laughs> In your spare time, you like to relax alone, doing things like listening to music or making models. Attend political rallies and stand up for what you believe in. Encourage and support your children with their hobbies. Play in your local sports team. Music? I think I like to relax alone, doing things like listening to music or making models. Uh, question seven, your ideal holiday getaway would be surrounded by natural beauty, getting away from the strain of daily grind, exploring somewhere unfamiliar and discovering new experiences and challenges. A structured day out at the theme park, bursting with thrills and attractions for you and your family. A romantic getaway with your partner to a tropical island paradise. Natural beauty. Tropical island like Cuba, comrade. Are they trying to figure out if we're a communist? It is most important that the government keeps people free. Thank you for your cooperation. Advance uh, knows your time is valuable and we appreciate your help in leading the nation to a brighter future. We're going to get thrown in jail. A family matter. It's late. Sam and the kids have gone to bed. You're just trying, uh, drying up a favorite coffee cup. A worn out souvenir of your first trip together. The prince faded, but the goofy face still makes you smile. A knock at the window brings you back to reality. Is this just the end of the game? You're on a watch list. There in the garden, clutching a gaudy neon green suitcase is Chris, Sam's sibling. As soon as you let them in, they sit at the kitchen table, visibly stressed. Just takes a deep breath. I'm so sorry for bursting in so late, Alex. Chris stammers, but I need a favor and you're the only one I can ask. What's going on? No problem. Let's have seen all this crazy advanced stuff. The Assets and Wealth Act, they're calling it. Taking people's hard-earned money to fund the lazy. It's bullshit. Never seen Chris this agitated. So this is like... This is like a visual novel, too. I'm not saying the top 1% or whatever don't have stupid money, Chris adds hastily. But they can afford it. People like me, we're going to lose everything. I'm sorry, but taking from the rich to help the poor doesn't sound so bad. Of 
Chris I Chris's eyes flash dangerously. You can't possibly be that naive. They're taking whatever they want and distributing it as they see fit. No government should have that kind of power. Look, that's not why I'm here. I need to borrow your passport. I can't give you my password. That's illegal. They've taken mine in half the bloody countries, but people always say you and I look similar. So Chris is pacing out. I need to leave before it's too late. Once I'm out, me and my money will be safe, but I need to go uh, now before they freeze my accounts. Please, Alex, I wouldn't ask if I had any other choice. Surely there's another way. I can't be that serious. Chris's mouth falls open. You're joking, right? I've always done right by you and Sam. I've treated your children like they were my own. We're family. Does that mean nothing to you? I don't know, buddy. <laughs> I just, I just got this new job. It's against the law. I can't help you with this. Fine, I'll solve this myself, Chris Spitz. So much for family loyalty, eh? Grabbing the nylon fluorescent suitcase, Chris disappears into the night. You go back to the dishes, picking up Sam's cup again. The peeling face now seems to bore into you. The knot in your stomach tightens. Achievement unlocked. Screw the 